flip from the end to the outside. So I have all the corner reflectors in here right now. So as you can see here, we've got actually a bigger one over there. But actually the one that's here is really important because there's I mean that's where the yeah the sound comes in over there. So yeah, then you go like that and over there and up the pipe. And I read somewhere that there shouldn't be any pressure coming out of the pipe and I was testing today and there were no corner flickers in there yet. There was a little bit of damping material in there, just this crap which uh, was left over. I want to buy some wool, which is better. And I had like this piece clamped on here with glue clips, and yeah, it's just doing some test stones, testing. Yeah, I wasn't getting really low really. Uh, 35 was really loud, the 30s was too good, the 30s, but what's I. Yeah, but there was a lot of air leaking, so when the frequency were get, getting lower and, and there was more pressure getting from the pipe, that um, yeah, all the air was just leaking out of the pipe, and yeah, it was quite kind of loud on higher frequencies like 35 hertz, but on the lowest frequencies it was just leaking too much air. But it was fun. I mean, it was rattling some stuff in here. It was right from the garage door, so that, that was quite good. But I felt some air pressure from the vents, and uh, this thing was stuffed then. It had a decent amount of damping material in here. And yeah, should there be any pressure coming from the pipe? I guess there should be pressure from the pipe, because it's, it's ac actually li almost like a vented box, it's just not the same principle really. But it does the the same job, and yeah, it's not. I mean, I do know there there are also transmission lines which have two closed ends, and then there's of course no air pressure coming out from the vent, and that's all being eaten up by the dampening material. So I guess there should be air pressure coming from the pipe, and. Yeah, I I just think so. It if it sounds good to me, then then it's then, then it's good. I mean, sometimes you should you shouldn't listen to everyone, because some guys are saying like, oh, if you put definitely definitely material in your T line, I mean it will uh, it will tune tune the box lower, but that's not true really. I read some different articles, and people were saying like, oh, that that's not. Uh, the case. I mean, you can you can't say, oh, I make my T line way too short, and then I'll just fill it up with some damping material, and yeah, then I'll, then it will be fine. No, that 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 won't work. Definitely not. So I'm not trusting every article really. Um, yeah, this is a little bit weird in my in my opinion. Some people are saying, oh. It you you should you should you shouldn't make it too long and then other guys just said you you should just make it the real length and hope it's all right and that's what I'm doing right now and I wasn't really planning on putting in too much because that will just eat a base don't if and I just want it to sound good so you should put in a reasonable amount and then not too much you shouldn't really stuff it completely full. Unless you're yeah, you're using a really high end drive or something. This is a subwoofer you want sound pressure from this thing, so not too much dampening material in there I guess. So this is how far I am right now. Also make some screw holes. Uh yeah, I had to align the driver a little bit. Still need to make all everything airtight and clean out the mess which inside. There's a lot of dust inside, you don't want to get that crap into your driver and your home, of course. And you will hear all this stuff rattling inside the pipe, which is not a good thing. So, yeah. 
Thanks for watching. I may do a test tomorrow. But yeah, I don't know. Or maybe the day after tomorrow. So, thanks for watching.